here for the St. John's Bible exhibit, a handcrafted Bible, uh, both calligraphers and uh, the illuminations are hand done. The process started 15 years ago and was completed in May of 2011. The seventh volume was completed and the final Amen was written in May. They're unique because they're the first handcrafted Bibles in over 500 years. It started uh, at a meeting with Donald Jackson, who's the chief calligrapher, and I believe Father Eric Hollis and uh, Dietrich Reinhardt, who was then president of St. John's University. And Donald Jackson said his dream was to do a handcrafted Bible and they thought it over at St. John's and eventually decided it was a work worth doing and so they commissioned the Bible. St. Scholastica was founded by the Benedictine sisters a hundred years ago and they follow the rule of St. Benedict and the rule of Benedict is rooted in the scriptures. So when it became evident that the Bible was going to be finished just in time for the centennial that a perfect way of honoring the hundred years uh, was to look to the past and find an artwork that had been done with ancient methods and also to look to the future in a work that brought contemporary society into its illustrations and probably will last longer than any buildings on the St. Scholastica campus. The Bible is a sacred text for all Christians, and so it's not just the sisters to whom it's important, but all Catholics and Christians of all faiths. And I think it introduces students to uh, an object that is absolutely beautiful in a world that often surrounds us with the unbeautiful.